Okay. Okay. Hello, Internet. We are now recording for episode 152 of Enter the Dungeon. Ash, how about you give us the recap of what happened last time? Oh, last time? Um, yeah. Uh, last time we had the uh, Battle of Champions, which I oh. lost again. Yeah, because I couldn't seem to win them. We gotta fix that. It's probably the way you're playing a character. Probably. Yeah, yeah actually, you're playing your character incorrectly, and Chris is going to take over from now on. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But what happened before that, in the campaign proper? Oh, oh yeah. I, don't know. I don't even know at this point. This is so long ago. Okay. It's been like six weeks. I'm going to say things, and you guys tell me if you remember them. Fire dogs. Oh. Oh, and fire yeah. dogs. That does ring a bell. Riley might be able Colors to Colors with the name Easy Oho on them. Huh? The Colors for the fire dogs that have the name Easy Oho on them. Why yeah. would someone bring their, brand their collar dogs with their name on it? Chris, I'm gonna... <laughs> gonna uh, hey, guys. hey guys, sorry I was Hello. a little late. Um, I'm actively cooking dinner right now, and I just remembered it. I'm okay, well, uh, it's, it's going 9.30. Isn't it? Yeah, I know. It was a little late. My bad, guys. I'm making uh, yeah. Fredo, I'm making a uh, Fredo leaning out Fredo. Nice. Okay. Do you guys remember going to the home of a... Oh, I'm going to love this sentence. The home of a drunk gnome. No. Do you want to do... Wait. To go find her husband? Maybe? No. I Wait, wasn't... Yes, the, I, remember I, remember that. That. I remember that. I remember that. Barely, I barely remember that. Flying machines. No. Yes. No. Wait, because he thought the whole world was going to end, right? Because he might as well get drunk, right? What? Kind of. Kind of? No. This is the engineer woman whose husband was falsely convicted. Oh, yeah, he was going to die. No, Thank no. You. I don't remember any of this. Well, I, I, I really need, I... Drew, I need you to help recap, please. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Okay, so... No. Um, I remember we, we, um, she was going to help us with something if, like, we would prove his innocence or something like that. Okay, so you guys are right now here, and you want to get up we, here, right? Can we connect the fire dogs to this place, please? They attacked you on the road. Okay. That I remember. And they, and whose dogs were they? I don't remember. I know that we killed everybody but the one guy. No, we couldn't uh, kill everybody. Oh, sure. I we left. I saw they that escaped. Night. And I kept oh. trying to throw rocks at them. Oh, yeah. And one of the dogs sniffed one of the horses. One of the dogs sniffed one of the horses? Oh, okay. I'm thinking of something different. I was thinking of the guys that ambushed us on our way to um, the um, that one known as shitty city. No, no. You guys are thinking of the same thing. We are? We are? Yeah. With, like, the cat guy? Was he a cat dude? No. Like a cat dog? No. Was he a dog man? Yes, there were like, the hounds. No, 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 no. I kind of swear that the main bad guy was like a half man, half cat thing. That's. I might be. I just might be going insane. Hey, how about this? Can uh, Gordon make a history check to see if he uh, he can remember and uh, say it perfectly? And by he means the DM. Okay, fine. Hold on, let me walk over to my bed. Okay, how far back do we need to go? Do you guys remember what the name of the BBEG is? No. Oh, I don't even know what that, that is. What? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Yes, Ash, you should. I if should. If anyone should, it's you. Mind you, my character is also a character that doesn't remember anything much. Okay, do you guys remember the name of the large gray-skinned man that uh, started this adventure? No. He's Either? kind of the leader of the group. Right, Gray skinned. He has tattoos and he uses alchemy. Also, Drew, I got an He's 18. He's gray? Oh, oh, your dad. Got it. I got an 18 plus 4. 18 plus 4. Go. Please just recap for us, Drew. Please. Please. Wait, time Wait, time time. Drew. How do you have a plus 4 to history? It's wisdom, isn't it? Or is it no, intelligence? It's intelligence. Oh, I got a 17. <laughs> okay, thank you. That makes more sense. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. okay, my bad. How are you wise? You are a literal child. That's... that's hey, I, I, I don't... Intelligent. Yes. Okay. No, oh, I remember the reasoning. It was because uh, you had so many failed, failed businesses. Exactly, I've had so much experience as a child because I've tried so many things and it didn't work out, so... Okay, so we you guys trying landed to, in we love the city. We love to a character that you rolled your skills in. So anyway, you guys landed in the city of Gold Shore Cape, and then you got permission to enter the city from a colonel, and then you bought a donkey carriage, and you drove the donkey carriage to Rose Sword. While on the way to Rose Sword, you were attacked by some fire elementals wearing armor and their hellhounds. You guys uh, killed some of the hellhounds and made the other guys retreat. You found that on the collar said that these hounds belonged to Easy Oho. They were Easy Oho's hounds. Oh, oh I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. I yeah, remember but that. Earth Mover took psychic damage when he read that through his magic. Um, uh, I um, oh, uh, the thingy, it, where, the micro micro glass. Was you was it? It, it, it was nice like the real. I kind of just, I kind of just, just uh, be, became a whimpering mess. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't our ECFO. It was the real ECFO, right? Yeah, because it, that name it written down is not for mortal minds to comprehend. Then you oh. guys made the town. The um, and then a guard there tried to tell you guys not to cause any trouble. And Earthworm was like, "Yeah, we're not going to." But it's not like you could do anything about it if we did. So true. <laughs> then you guys went and tracked down an engineer by the name of. Dr. Adrian Key. And her husband, Martin, was wrong... No, wait, not Martin. Leon was wrongfully convicted of murder, and she needs you guys to go to... a nearby mine to find Martin. Because he can exonerate Leon. Okay, when I say it like that, it sounds kind of complicated, but you guys know what I was saying, right? Yes, kind of. I yes. was kind of following. Ish. Yeah. I, I, I stopped paying attention once we got into the city, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> I just throttle you. Well, I, I also wasn't there for it, so... That's why you shouldn't have been paying attention! Yeah, I wasn't there for it, therefore it's I okay. don't need to care. Okay, we'll just say I can't do it. I was just fucking in a trance. It did not have me in it, therefore not important. <laughs> exactly. I wasn't there, so I, I didn't I didn't need to know about All it. All right, so basically, we're now on a search and rescue mission. Yeah. Or search, search mission, mission, really. Search and rescue. Because we don't, he's not in any danger. Uh, d d d <laughs> I mean, one person is, one person isn't. <laughs> yeah, the person we're searching for isn't in any danger. Correct. I so mean, we're yeah. search and retrieve to rescue. There we go. That's what okay, the mission there is. We go. And uh, the woman, she drunkenly says, um, and by the way, if you're like adventurers and um, stuff, you might want to check out Dr. Barbara before you leave. Dr. Barbara. <laughs> and Barbara? she's back in her chair. Do I, rec do I recognize the name Dr. Barbara or no? Likely not, but who no. knows? Okay. So, do we have a map as to know where to go? Um, do, I re do I remember where the mines are? <laughs> she ga yes, she gave you a map of where to go. She actually ripped it out of an atlas. Oh, dang. Uh, okay. Oh, that's very convenient. Yeah. There's like seven by seven like brick thing is going to be really good at that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. Yeah, Gordon is the official map keeper now. Wait, oh, he is? Probably. I'm the map. Yeah. I'm the map. Yeah. I'm the map. I'm the map. I mean, probably. Think about it. He is the best tracker, and uh, the actual uh, oh, map yeah. master is gone. I'm a hunter. I forgot about that. So what I should be able to... Recap oh, what sense. all of your characters can do or something? <laughs> you know, Drew, it's been a while. <laughs> what what does, do you know? mean? Keep track of characters. <laughs> Ash, do you know what hit dice are? <laughs> you know uh, sure. <laughs> Do you know how to make a saving throw? What's that? Yeah, like how much of a of a refresher course do we need? How do you throw someone I to save them? 
<laughs> Bob, throw me! Bob, throw me! How, how, how cool. I, I have a picture of Scream with a spike through his eyes. Does that help? Scream? Like the, the, the horror movie villain? Yeah. And he's using hemallergy now? No, he has a spike through one of his eyes. I'm not saying he is using heme allergy. I'm saying he's the, he's the most important <laughs> of it. Big anyway, difference. it's an offshoot of the soul mine, but it's a lot closer to town. And yeah. uh, she advised you to go speak to um, Dr. Barber before you leave for like adventuring reasons. And that's all the information this woman gave you before passing out drunk in her chair. Your turn. So, let's go. And to clarify, this is a um, this is like a medium-sized town, so you can get supplies from it. Ooh. Um, Gordon would like to see if there is a mana potion is somewhere there... in a uh, in a in a town shop. Uh, what do we have in this town? Do we have? Do, do we have a place that we can get magic spells from? Um. Okay, roll me some percentile dice. Percentile dice? Drew, out of everybody I've ever played with, you make people roll the most d100. There and there. Okay. Yeah, percentile dice. Go. Eighty-eight. Okay, with an 88, so here's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Give me the good news first. The Just good news the, is the good news, the that there news. is a magic shop. What's the bad news? The bad news is, is that it's a four-foot clearance. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is fine. Gordon can fit. I'm, yeah, I'm just living in caves. I I can I'm okay with crawling a little Your bit. Your character is almost six feet tall though. So I can crawl. Wait, do you have um grow or uh, no, what is it? Um grow or shrink, like the spell like or what is that you want to call it? Enlarge, enlarge, or, enlarge or reduce. Anybody have that? I'll stoop, I'll crawl, I don't care. If, if okay, yeah, so after it does oh, traveling, you guys eventually uh, make it to, um, you know, the more mechanical side of town where there's, like, a lot of uh, trinkets and odds and ends for sale, and you make it to... Uh... Hmm. I mean, I don't have anything needing to buy. Unless I get some tools to be able to fix myself? Yeah, and you eventually make it to a place called, um... Have, have, have we had a long rest? Uh, not recently. Not since the dog We should open. probably do that. <laughs> we haven't played, we haven't played a couple weeks first thing. Long rest. Yeah, but anyway, you eventually make it to Shaffer's Lodge of oddities. Is that the potion? That's the potion stuff? No, the, well, it's a general magic shop, but there's probably some potions here. Okay, uh, Gordon would like, uh, alright, I'm feeling kind of arcane, and I, I feel like I need a little bit of, uh, arcane energy. you have anything I can, re that can uh, restore that for me? Good, sir? And this man hobbles out, and, like, this guy, he seems a little bit taller than the average um, gnome, thereby juxtaposing the fact that he has one of the shorter um, buildings, and he's got this very long beard. Ah, oh, yes, you're looking. You're looking. You're looking for something that you can perhaps insert in that, that that Doctor Barber can insert inside of you to make you more magical. I've got a few items that he can do that for. Yeah, yeah, it's worked out. All right, side note: Gordon is still, you know, twelve. So would he be about the size of this guy? Because he's well, a little bit taller than I know. 
Well, how tall is Gordon? Um, I'll give you and, and, and as a reminder, look at your strength score before you answer this. Oh, you just... He's not a cartoon character. So, well, are, you, are, are, are you looking for some magical oddities that you can have inserted inside of you? Or are you more looking for something that you can hold on to? Uh, am I split them or am I outside? Yeah, presumably you were, Well, this man stepped outside to greet the group. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, Drew? Uh, yes. He is uh, he's 410. Okay. Who's 410? Gordon. Oh. So yes, if you would like to come inside, I can show you what we have. I look at myself um, and I say, I, "I'm uh, going." Bed. Okay. Oh, actually, can I make a perception check first? Sure. What are you looking for? Um, to see if there's any booby trap, or if it's like um, like if it's safe to enter. I mean, this is a storefront in the middle of town, but yeah, go ahead. So nineteen plus whatever. Yeah, it's it's so uh, it's it's pretty safe. Like as long as you don't start messing with this guy's magical items, you'll be fine. Okay. So what can old Shaffer get do for you? Um. See, I'm feeling a little, you know, magically tired. Do you have anything I can, uh, I don't know, hypothetically, let's say, if I had like hypothetical like spell slots and I only had a certain amount of like something that can like you know restore it in terms of if I had to exchange uh if I wanted to cast a spell and I wanted to use a potion to cast a spell. Ah yes 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 that's a yes. Oh okay my bad. Oh coins rich yeah forgot that we have money Yes, 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 yes. You're referring to one of those potions of mana? Indubitably, good show. He's trying to sound fancy. Well, you can get one potion of mana for only... And then he looks up at you. Only 115 gold pieces. Um, give me a hot second. I'll take that. Just do that. Huh? Oh, damn it. I don't have anything. Oh. Uh, oh, these are all like these are all like important for battle. Um, well, you know, as a struggling business owner myself, I are are, are you actually? Uh, I'll strip, scratch that. Um, you know, I was a business owner myself. Are you doing quite well for yourself? Yes, 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 yes. I've actually because due to the lack of. Um, but uh, people traffic uh, and poor, you know, geo geographical destinations, if you will. All of my businesses are closed, and it has been quite hard to uh, sustain a very long slice of business. Do you have any tips? Because you seem so wise and so smart. Ah, yes. Well, you see, the key is you have to sell things that people want to buy. What? Well, my, my, me, myself, as a culinary artist, oh, as a student wonder. of the, uh, the great food, I was selling my work that is food. Ah, so you're saying you want some sort of magical utensils? Mm -hmm. Um, no, I was just... Perhaps a magic pot? Um, so I don't, I'm trying to bribe him to kind of get down the, get the, uh, Get the price down of that mana person because that's really expensive. Um, or can I make a check to see what the average price of mana would be? Like an average mana price? Um, he's bought one before. Yes, so make a uh, um, I guess this would be like a merchant's knowledge check. So, um, go ahead and roll plus intelligence and proficiency. I'll say you're proficient in these. <laughs> Every background. Uh, it's 15 minus one plus three. So, plus, so, plus four. so uh, oh. plus three. It's plus three. It's a uh, eighteen. Eighteen. With an eighteen, with an eighteen total, you remember that when you guys were um at the um 
at, at the tower that these only cost a hundred gold pieces. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna say, you know, so I think that you're so smart and successful because, you know, you have a lot of these pieces, but they seem to be a little bit more expensive than from what I'm used to. Is is there like a, a shortage in these, or is that why you're going a little bit more expensive? Oh, well, you know how it is, you know. Sometimes certain items are in more demand for certain demographics, so that causes the price to go up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can do, like, a charisma roll or something. But like, So, as one businessman to another, do you mind, you know, giving me the real price? Because I, I know what you mean more than anything, but I'm struggling right now. Do you think you can help me out? Well, you know, for instance, when I'm selling these to soldiers and other locals because we have a certain um, camaraderie between us, I usually only charge 100 gold pieces, but I can't necessarily give just everyone off the street the regular price. Well, what if I told you not only am I a merchant, but a soldier? Or a warrior, if you will. Is this a robbery? No, 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 good sir. no, 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 no. This is just from one one salesman to another. By the way, Riley, make me an insight check. Yeah, fuck you. Uh-oh. That is an incredibly mid-roll. Is it an insight? Yeah. 13? Okay, never mind. You're not completely sure why he's upcharging you. 13 doesn't do it. Okay. But you know what? I will respect your business, and I hope you do well, and I'll give him a hundred. I mean, you can tell that he is upcharging you. You just don't necessarily know why. Unless you, Riley, have figured it out. Um, Do I have minor illusion? Or I have this guy's person, don't I? I was going to say, all right, I was going to come back in as a gnome, see if he was just racist. I'm assuming it's because I'm not a gnome. Oh, that's the wrong paper. Um, well, perhaps one of my other items would interest you. For instance, are you interested in a magic ring that can make you jump three times as far? Oh, well, how they do it? Yes, I am. And then you yeah. see him go over and unlock a uh, box and where you see that there's a collection of rings. And quick, question, you, quick, question. Him, quick question. While yeah. he's turned, is he turned around from me? Um, it's like, you're in like the side of his periphery. Oh. Um, it would say, if I were to make a uh, slight of hand check and try and steal one of these mana potions, would I have to do it with disadvantage? Uh, yes. And if you get caught, this is not going to end well. Can I pass, can I do pass without trace and then add it to my deck score? Or um, that only stealth? Can we try to resolve this situation like any other way before you rob the magic shopkeep? Oh, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> I want to. I want to be able to come in here and buy some spells from him. Yeah, do, uh, yeah. Uh, Rafer, do you want to crawl in beside um, Gordon? I'll crawl if I have to. I, I'd rather just stoop. If that's you're too option. tall, this I'm is almost tall. two feet that you're having to reduce yourself by. Can I squat and just duck walk in? Yes. Okay. And you, uh, by the way, Gordon, so you see him mutter something in Nomash to this box, and then he takes out this ring, and he says, I call this the Ring of the Frog Legs. Oh, hell yes. Gordon's interests are piqued. Yes, you see, while wearing this, it will give you the magical ability to activate its properties and then jump three times as you far as you could normally. And it can be yours for a mere 230 gold. Oh, 230 gold is a little expensive, don't you think, bud? Well, this is a very powerful magic item. Think about it, though. I mean, you seem like a strong lad. I bet that you could leap at least 15 feet direct forward. Now you'd be able to leap 45 feet. Hmm. Your enemies would never see you coming. You'd be like a gazelle. Or How about this? How about do you this? know what those are? Yes, I do. Um, I don't say that. I just say it under my breath. Um, how about this? I'll buy that potion and your mana potion for 300. Mm. 
Very well. You've got yourself a deal. Eee! Don't that sound good. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So I'll give him three hundred gold. All right. And he gladly collects that from you. And you see him making some a lot of careful notes in his um ledger. <laughs> Oh, yes, you know how it is. Bureaucracies and the government always wanting to know who has which items and where they're going. And to take all your money. Uh Uh-huh. I hear you. But, you know, the military does keep us safe. I mean, who knows? If we we weren't so strong, then those Galeans might invade. He says as he gives you a, um, your potion in a very nice bottle and your uh, ring in a, a fine box. Well, I think that there should be a system to where you can opt out if you choose. <laughs> um, oh, you guys. I mean, I guess you could go live in the woods if you want, but I mean, <laughs> I don't want Galay to invade us. Have you seen them? Yeah, they're kind of strong. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Riley, as a reminder, that's the country that your character's from. Yeah, I figured. Okay, good. Uh, get, I mean, uh, my and character he, doesn't... And, yeah. Um... And, and he looks over at Rayford, but you know what I'm saying, right? I is he also from Galay? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, did did Galay exist when I was like in its in its current strength two hundred years ago? Two hundred years ago, yes. Ah. Um. I'm. I'm uh, Chris. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, if um. Westman's listening in. He might not necessarily know what that country is. Yeah, that's what I was questioning. Like, wait, yeah, so wait, I know what, what it is. How strong Gela is, but Westman doesn't. How old is Westman? Oh, Westman's like a thousand. Just about. Oh, yeah. I think it's just about a little over a thousand. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm, um, I'm, I'm gonna mosey on over. Yep. A little bit closer. As best you can. can. Yeah. Do you happen to have any spells and scrolls that I might be able to use? Ah, well, certainly, my old friend. What kind of scrolls are you looking for? Hmm. Well, I was hoping... Something with necromancy. I know it's a it it has a negative connotation, a negative rap. But not everyone who uses necromancy is necessarily evil. No. Some ones who use it to bring back the dead, so that the recently departed, so that they might not be dead anymore. Oh, you're looking for a resurrection spell now. Gotta tell you that um... possibly. Some to keep the undead away. Are you looking for a scroll that can repel the undead? That, that could be useful, yes. Otherwise, yeah. I'm looking for some spells that I could use for groups of enemies. Would also be good. Hmm. You mean like one of those balls of fire? Screaming balls of fire? What? Do, do yeah. I? Can I? Can I learn fireball? No, I fireball. Don't the warlock list. Can my character learn fireball? Okay, let, let let me let me check something real quick because I I've got to check the exact wording of this. Uh, well, well, what what is the nature of the magic that you're looking for specifically? Oh, and then I have that. Just, j- just a moment. I'm, I'm just checking something real quick. Uh... From any class's spell list. Okay, good. That's I want to double check that. I'm looking for any spells with necromancy that could deal with many enemies. Or could be used to repel the undead. Ash, can you just tell me what you're looking for? I'm just looking for spells that I can put, like, 
first or second level spells that I can put into my um, Book of Ancient Seek. Into my. Uh... Okay, well, what are the rules for that uh, grimoire? Uh, da, 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 da. Normally, it would be. Crack the tome. Why can I not pack? So, where? Okay, yeah, nor normally uh, I would only be able to add uh, cantrips from any from any spell list. However, because I also have, I also have Book of Ancient Secrets as my, um, as one of my Eldritch Invocations, uh, I can add other ritual spells to my Book of Shadows. When you find such spell, you can add it to your book if your spells if the spells level is equal to or less than half your warlock level wait are, are you perhaps looking for a spell that can help a dead person just stay dead and not become undead that that could be useful yeah because i've got one here that we like to call calming rests hmm calming rest you say Basically, it can last for up to 10 days if you cast it properly, and it prevents a corpse from decaying or becoming a zombie. Would it be able to... Let, let's say someone had become undead. Would it be able to disrupt, disrupt that? Well, no, you'd have to take care of that the old-fashioned way, but then I suppose you could prevent it from becoming undead again. That could be useful. How, how much for the spell? Yeah, for that spell? Well, for you, since you're a good friend here, just bought so much merchandise off of me, for that, I'll only charge you 100 gold pieces. Oh, you are too kind. Mm -hmm. Do you also happen to have some rare inks that I could use for this? I, I want to... I, I need it for my for my for my notes. You see. Um, Ash, what's the requirements for copying it into your grimoire? Uh, fifty gold pieces worth of rare inks. Okay, yeah. So yeah, if it says that specifically, sure. You want some of that fancy spell scroll ink? Yes. Well, you know, I've got just the thing. You know, this is some exquisite spell scroll ink, and you know, it's yours for only fifty three gold pieces. Hmm, 53 gold pieces. Yes. Gordon is extremely upset. Watch out. He says with a smile. I'm just joking with you. I'll only do it for 50. But, you know, they say that this stuff is made with dragon blood, so be careful with it. Gordon is extremely upset now and starts punching a tree outside. Do you happen to have any any cantrips in your in your list? Of spells that I could use, I, I I don't know if like I could actually use cantrips. I'm assuming that I could if it was on a spell, on a scroll. It would just be a one-time thing. Um, right. you'd probably have to make a check for. Okay, actually, what, what cantrip do you want? I don't know. Let, let me let me look. Well, actually, okay, I'll, I'll, we circle I'll, back I'll, to this I'll, I'll later. Those couple of things real quick, and I, I I will buy them. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly look at what. What there are for cantrips. So. Okay, it's 50 gold each for a cantrip scroll. Okay. Mm. Okay, can we just circle back to that later then? Yeah, we, we we can circle. We we can say that I bought a a cantrip, uh, and then decide what it is later. Okay, so you guys gonna keep moving forward then? Uh, first, okay. Does Westman want to do anything else in town? No, except he wants to get a long grass, but uh. Okay, yeah. How about Westman? Yeah, yeah. Westman, do you want to go get them some accommodations at the at the base? At the base? Yes. Yeah, at the barracks. Oh. What would we need? I I mean, we got weapons. 
No, they were weapons no, break? Like sleeping accommodations. Oh. Sure. Okay. I suppose yeah, and, being a nice party member, I should be able to get get us some sleeping quarters. So. Yep. And um, when you arrive there, uh, there's a um, there's a uh, no man working at the counter. And he says, <clears throat> "Hello, there, soldier. What is your identification number?" Question: Would I remember this? <laughs> And would it be a very low number if they're just identifying what number it is? Okay, I've got... It's one of those things where, like, the question, as soon as it's asked, you just kind of slip out without realizing that you're saying it. Yeah. Okay. And does he, like... I don't know how the identification number works, but... Is it... Is it, like, a random number, or is it based off of the order of when you were made? <laughs> Okay, so you remember that's W three four five zero zero six. Okay. All right, then I just bet that off. I don't know if he reacts at all. Huh? Are, are you sure? Yes. I'm. I mean, that's a proper format, but I'm not seeing that anywhere here in this list. And then he like goes behind him to a drawer. It just pulls out like a bunch of papers. It's like, huh. Missing in action. Oh, wow. Well, welcome home. <laughs> yes, thank you. So, uh, <laughs> what can we do for you? I'd like some sleeping accommodations for. Do I include the other party members who work this, but no. Do you? I mean,. No, like, I was gonna say, should I get a room for, uh, Earthmover as well? I mean, probably. I suppose two rooms. Wait, how- how many room- how many- how much room does a room have? <laughs> That's a question there. Uh, well, how much Colonel, space- we can probably get you one of our nicer rooms, about a 15 by 15. How many do you need? Uh, I'm calculating in my head. I need enough for three, four, 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 uh, Warforged, Colonel? No, uh, okay, one Warforged and three, uh, un not Warforged. So, like, three gnomes? No, uh, let's see, a human child, an elf, a goliath. Oh, how would I put you down for two rooms, Colonel? I'll take it. Very well, sir. And he actually stands up to salute you. <laughs> I am I. Did they change the salute at all? <laughs> uh, tell you what, he's saluting from his left hand, and it's like to the middle of his forehead, almost like he's sightseeing. <laughs> I recognize that it's a salute, but I. <laughs> Uh, okay, so meanwhile in town, um, Ash and Riley, are you guys uh, looking for that Dr. Barba person? Um, Jordan's gonna finish chopping the tree down with his gun. Hey, what are you doing there? Some guy didn't sell me something for the same price he sold to somebody else. I'm mad. Man, this is this is my tree. You think you could just come out here and start punching trees? What do you think this is? Some sort of children's game where you go around punching trees? What do you mean? Punch a tree. What do you think I'm going to do? Harvest this wood and create it into wooden flakes and then create something where I can create more things? No. I know, no. Well, that's actually that pretty good. You know what? You're lucky that this tree was scheduled to be chopped down today. Thank you. I'll give you all the lumber. Well, then, very good. I guess I should be paying you my labor fee. And he gives you two silver pieces. I am, I, thank you, sir. I had zero money. Thank well, you. very good, then. This is a very aggressive conversation, but I guess it ended well for the both of us. What's your name? My name. Name generator. <laughs> Creating a new uh, slave NPC for it, boys. Just wait. My name oh. is uh, Nicholas Fletcher. Nicholas Fletcher. 
My name's Gordon Flay. Nice to meet well, you. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Flay. Oh, you, um, need a- you destroyed this tree remarkably quickly. If I need any other trees chopped out, I will gladly look you up and hire you. Thank you. I am a part of the, the Stone Movers. Well, I guess you uh, maybe they should call you the Tree Movers because that was like supernaturally fast. How did you <laughs> oh my do- gosh. What is the conversation? <laughs> tree Movers. Tree Movers. <laughs> Call me the Lumberjack. Oh, that's my nickname, Lumberjack. All right. Okay. Very Bye. well done, Mr. Lumberjack. Bye. <laughs> and just as you're finishing that exchange, I guess so, Rayford probably finishes up in the tent or whatever. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, the spell that I'm going with is um, Firebolt. Okay. So, what do you guys want to do now? Hmm. I got the room, so I guess I'll go to the party to sit, let them know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Riley, what was that? Can you hear me, Drew? Uh, I can hear you now. Alright, I said, uh, preferably I'd like to go find Barb. You say Barbara? Um, then? that's probably what Gordon heard, so does he want to ask around town? Yeah, he's like, hey, you know, you know somebody named Barbara who's good with, like, machines? Barbara who's good with machines? Oh, are you referring to the great deceased mechanist? Oh no, Barbara did she die? Machiner? <laughs> hey, oh no, did she die? Oh, Machina? No. Was her name Machina? Anyway. Barbara Machina? Yeah, yeah. She lived like some 200 years ago. How'd you hear about her? Uh, you know, through the grapevine. <laughs> but, um, did you, do you know where she uh, lives? Or lived? Uh, you know, it's kind of ironic that they that her name was Barbara, because now, like, right next to where she used to live, where her shrine is, there, now there's a guy named Barber. Funny story. Oh. Well, then I'll go ask him. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. You're or welcome. Boy. Or, or, or ma'am. Or, or in between. Who knows anymore? I'm just a wolf for watch. I'm just a wolf. I'm just a little boy who's not good at cooking. Or who's very good at cooking. Yeah, by the way, uh, Gordon eventually finds like this amazing shrine to this woman named Barbara Machiner, who like was <laughs> known for inventing all of these great mechanisms. Like, um, her shrine actually shows her, like, as a statue, like, holding these two gears together. Well, And then, like, across the street from it is... Um, is a building that uh, is marked as the offices of, um, Dr. Marino Barber. Head surgeon of Panip. Um, I'm gonna knock on his door. Or I'm gonna like, hey guys, is that him? Or is that them? Because I'm with uh, everybody else, right? Well, I'm I'm not there. I'm oh. walking back to you guys. I don't know when I get there. Yeah, yeah you probably catch up quickly. Like I just imagine that like uh, Gordon's like running back and forth, seeing everything in the town, and then oh, just yes, referred in. Um, West Bear is just struggling to keep up. Very giddy <laughs> child. The, the old man, you know. Only one of us is a man. The other is yeah. a robot. And one's a boy. Well, yeah, but he said two old men following him. It's, yeah. Oh. Wait, no, that sounds wrong. Never mind. <laughs> Why are two old men following a child? <laughs> Do you really want an answer to that? Nope. That's what I thought. Yeah. And so probably eventually um, Rayford and um, yeah, Rayford's able to catch up with him. Okay. And Westman's probably on his way, but um, and uh, by the way, sitting outside the business is a very old man smoking a pipe. Hmm. 
Hello there, son. Did you come here to admire the statue of Barbara? Let's light it on fire. Now, Mr. Um, Dro, oh. there's no need for that. For one thing, you cannot set a copper statue on fire. I'm, Are I'm you fine. sure? Well, I mean, please don't test it. <laughs> okay. So we were looking for a barber. Um, do you cut hair? Well, my great grandfather did, hence the last name. Just kind of stuck. Oh. Okay. What do you do now? Well, I'm looking for a barber. Um, so, do you know what a surgeon is? A surgeon? Yeah, yeah it's a fish. Uh, that's a sturgeon, son. See, I'm what's known as a surgeon. It means that I cut people open for medical reasons and stitch them back together. So I, at, I, the, I, I, at, I hearing cut, at hearing cut open, Gordon, like, like, gets into, like, a sumo stance and, like, goes, you're not cutting me open. But, oh, wait, to help people? Yes. Oh, okay, never mind. Like, like you've you ever heard of, ha of someone having something in their body that they shouldn't, so they need to have it removed? Yeah, my ex-wife. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I heard it once in a, in a, in a play. No, actually, I don't know my father. Do you know my father? His name was um. What was his name? What did we What did we land on, Drew? Goose Gusto or something. Gusto, yeah. Do you know my father? This guy named Gusto. He was like a pirate slash uh, um chef. We do not speak that name here. Oh wait. I'm kidding. I've never heard of oh, him. You got me. You got me good. Okay. All right. What the hell do we want with this guy? I turn over to Fitch and Drew. What the hell do we want with this guy? Anyway. Oh, you're not Fitch anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, West, West, Maiden, or West, Westman? Anyway, the main thing I specialize in is taking parts from one person and putting them on another. You see, this is going to sound very strange to you, but there are certain benefits that can happen. If, for instance, you take a part from a freshly dead person and put it on a living person. For instance, Wait a minute. Yes. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Um, you can finish. Sorry. Sorry. For instance, there's all sorts of theories of what might happen if you attach the body parts of otherworldly creatures onto humans. I've had did a I... lot of success of attaching various troll parts. Did I ever get that? Am I still hobbling around on one foot? Yeah, you have a hag foot. No. Oh! You, yes, can you put this foot on me, please? Probably. No, no, it's already on you. Can you check if it's oh. probably check oh. it? Yeah, hey, can you look at this, please? <sighs> he takes off his one very large shoe. And you see him adjust his spectacles? Ah, oh, fascinating. I see you're already quite familiar with the uh, process. Oh, uh, who did your operation? <laughs> I mm. did. <laughs> like, who, who actually did it? I don't remember. I, I want to say that it was done by uh, Earthmover. Oh, it was uh, it, it was, was uh, Earthmover. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, big guy who likes rocks. Yes. Oh, was it Doctor um, Jonah Amethyst, the great dwarven surgeon? No, not that guy. You want to um, guess again? I I mean, there's very few people that perform these kinds of operations. I mean, I invented the process. Well, I wish you would have met my friend Earth Mover because he did it. He's really cool. He's really big, kind of scary. Earth Mover. Yeah. Yeah. He moves Earth. What kind of a name is that? It's a cool one. <laughs> I look up to him, physically and literally. So, are you like some sort of traveling? Plays? No. You mentioned something about plays. Are you like a theater group? Um. No. A circus? We... Wait a minute, why are we here again? <laughs> Gordon says that to West. For some uh, reason, I see a demon horn, so yeah. I don't know why. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to pull him out. If We're here to stop the end of the world? <laughs> we're here to stop the end of the world? <laughs> what they allow you, what they allow you to do. What they do? Uh, are those authentic devil horns? Yes, they are. Ah, you know, I could stitch those right onto you if you wanted, but I mean, 
you might get some unwanted attention if you did that. I mean, no offense, but there are some people that look at a drow and immediately think he's up to something, and having uh, fiendish horns aren't going to help. Mm, this is true. What what would they what would they grant me though? Well, that depends. Where'd you get them from? Which demon did I get them from? I was probably the shadow demon. Okay, yeah. We'll go with that then. Uh, shadow devil, huh? Yes. Well, might let you um, become a bit more stealthy then, or might make you a lot colder. A lot of this is sometimes, unfortunately, guesswork until we get it on there. I've never really done... I haven't done much work with fiend transplants. Very temperamental. But, you know, if perhaps we could do a little trade. I put that on there, and then you, in exchange, give me some of your blood. Wait. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Last oh, don't I worry, don't worry. You see, your body will regrow the blood later. Like hair. The, the last time I gave some of my blood, I, I ended up in a tower for 200 years. Well, that sounds like something I'd want to avoid. But here's the thing. Elf blood very powerful and when you um transplant it into other species it's rejuvenating can add 10 years to their lives it can make me two years old that's not exactly what that means what and what about dragon blood Ooh, do you have any Perhaps. i mean the closer you are to the death of the creature before the transplant, the better. That's why I prefer to, you know, harvest blood samples from willing living donors. Hmm. What would what would, dra what would dragon blood do? Hmm. Well, might turn you into one of those sorcerers. What else could it do? Well, might let you breathe fire. Depends on the dragon and how much blood you get. But what tell you what, how would you two step into my shop? I've got some other things that would show you. No, no offense, soldier. It's just that since you're very mechanical, there's not much I can do for you. I look at my hands. <laughs> Um, well, but Barbara, she sure. could have done wonders for you. Bob Ross? I, I've never heard of that, but he sounds like some amazing painter who perhaps <laughs> lives in another realm. Uh, I'm going to consult my hat, actually, as, as we go in. Okay. I'm going to ask where the nearest dragon is. You know what to do. Yup. And roll that these funny, baby. Let's go. Not 20. Actually, Ooh. do I need to a modifier? Because it is a negative modifier. But it's a nat 20, so it's... It's either nat 20 or 19. Either way. Huh. I'm fun of that. Give me a second. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? No. You're expecting to have to give me a negative effect. Yeah. But... Okay. I was too. The hat is like it's like a homing beacon type thing at the moment. <laughs> and you know that filling inside of you is that there is a dragon that likes to come and go around the soul mine which is near where you guys are heading anyway. It's 
not quite like the norm, like a dragon that you've uh, met before, but it almost seems to be a type of dragon that seems to be feasting on the aether that's harvested there. Out of character, um, are we killing another dragon? I'm also, not saying we have to kill a dragon. I'm saying that I wouldn't mind getting some of its blood. I mean, if we have to kill it to get the blood, so be it. But I just want the blood. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Gordon, wait, so are we in like a little side huddle? Um, he's uh, he's uh, asking you to come into his uh, surgery practice. Guys, look, we've already taken care of the dragon. By we, I mean it was pretty much just me. So I think we don't need Arthur or um, Gerald or anybody else. We can do this. We got this. And uh, he's inviting the two fleshies inside. So, huh. so just just a quick question: How for how long will I know exactly where this dragon is? Because you you described it as a homing beacon, so, so I imagine it's you know, more so that like you now know enough about this dragon to know that he some well, he or she or they somewhat regularly like to visit the soul mine. You could say it. Let's just say they, that they like to visit the soul mine. Okay. A dragon is an it. Dragons are people. No, they're not. They're dragons. <laughs> what about the dragon that manages your town? Dragons are dragons. It's an it. No. You're no. Dragon. We're not. We're, no, 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 no. Dragons no, no, no. are sentient creatures, therefore they are they. <laughs> exactly. Oh. oh. No. No, 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 no. We yeah, can't hurt people. What is Westman then? Them. It's an it. An it. Zay them. Yeah. He's a beep boop. Maybe this dragon is You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, and so then I'm, what about. No, I'm not going to bring this up. I just like to imagine that Westman's just sitting there debating to himself what the proper pronouns would be for dragons. And so, and he brings you inside, and it's actually a really interesting place. Like, for one thing, the wall, the, the doors are actually tall enough for you to go in. Hmm. Yep. And he uh, brings you past a, um, a main, like, there's, like, this room with, like, these chairs sitting up, uh, so, so, these chairs, uh, like, that you can sit on, and, like, there's these pieces of paper that are, like, uh, bounded together with, like, information on them that seem to be, like, th- something that, it's, like, m- smaller than like a book it's almost seems like like current events in it but not quite a newspaper either and it's got like some pictures on it and he uh, leads you past that room into another room where he's got like this um this bed that doesn't look super comfortable on it and you can see where he's got all of his tools set up like his scalpel and everything this is my surgery room i call it a room of operation what do you think the room of operation. Do you like my room of operation, human? Wait, okay, I can't be inside. Never mind. I can't be. Yeah. Uh, D- Dro man, do you like you. my room of operation? It looks very clean. Thank you. Is it actually clean? <laughs> yes, it's very clean. Yes, and we've got all sorts of things to help us keep it clean, and some things to make sure that my patients don't feel any pain. And he walks over to a cabinet, and you see him unlock something, and then speak a phrase very carefully in Namish, and it opens up, and he takes out a clear potion. Do you know what this is? Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to attempt to see if I know what it is. Uh, what would that be? Would that be Perception? I mean, it's labeled in Namish. I mean, you could just ask the man what it is, or you can maybe try to make an insight check based on the context. Yeah, that's something. I'm going to go for an in... Actually, w- would it be a medicine check, essentially? Because this yeah, is... Yeah, I guess you could make a medicine check. Yay, medicine check. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay. No, I, I don't know what that is. Would you mind explaining it? Well, this is what's called a potion of anesthetic. If a person drinks this, well, then 
they won't feel any pain, and if they drink enough of it, then it can put them into an induced sleep for a while. Uh, hubby, 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 hubby. Say it again? This is a potion of anesthetic. If you make someone drink it, or you inject it inside of them, then you can put them to sleep for a short while. Uh, people or creatures? Oh, both. So, what you're but saying is that I could put this in a dragon's bowl of water. Oh, no, no, no. This is not nearly powerful enough to affect a dragon, but well, I just thought you'd be interested in seeing it. Okay. So, what brings the two of you into town, anyway? We're trying to stop the world from going extinct. And how does being in this town help you do that? He looks <laughs> over to his uh, companion. We're, we're looking for certain valuable magical artifacts. Hmm. Magical artifacts. Yes. Well, did you already go to Schaefer's? What is, what is Schaefer's? Hello? Uh, lamp on a cracker. No, oh, no. Wait, is are you still here? Oh, okay. It's just the Drew's DM. McDon yeah, I'm I'm here, but Drew's McDonald. Are you here? Now. I'm here. Old okay. McDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah. Drew, Drew needs better Drew. Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes, he does. Jack. DM is gone. Yeah, DM DM died. Yeah. Actually, that, uh oh. Well, so. My, oh, yep, uh, there, there goes the DM. Yep. My uh, laptop's about to die. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, let me uh, go and try and find another uh, cord here. Or, um, I might continue on my phone. Give me a second. I'll still be here for a little bit. I'll be here for a little bit. Yeah, 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 bang. Yeah, yeah, what? Bang. Bang? Okay. Oh, okay. RIP Old McDonald and his, uh, exploding bar. Thank you. Rest in banks. Old McDonald of the Fed's farm, E-I-E-I-O. Uh, okay, I cannot find my cord. So if it cuts out, that's because I'm dead. But I'm going to, uh, should I Should I just play till it dies? Or should I get off now? Uh-oh. What? I'm like hearing it. Uh oh. Oh, did, did you hear what I said? No. I said, should I play until my laptop dies, or should I just get off now? What are you gonna play? Huh? What are you gonna play? This. The game. We've this, been doing yeah. Oh. D and D. Yeah. yeah. For an hour around. I suppose. Yeah. You've got what? 20 minutes left, anyways. Anyone want to watch anime? Yeah. <laughs> we could, um, I could stream it into here. and. Uh, oh, that would be pretty fun. What are you watching right now? Mushoku Tensei just came out. Mm. Dang it, the do? DM came back. <laughs> as soon as you started watching anime, Drew was like, I'm <laughs> back. <laughs> now, um, I just started season two of Inland Saga. Oh, I need to watch that. Yeah. It's pretty good. I, I love it. But again, Mappa taking over a wit production. <laughs> okay. I'm connected on mobile, so let's see how far this gets up. Uh -oh. Likely not far. Probably not far. But anyway, but what was the last thing you heard? Is about to die, so. yeah. The last thing we heard is that um, 
we were saying we need some magical artifacts, and then you went like, "Well, I have," uh, 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 and then you left. So, so where are you looking for these magic items anyway? Where are we looking for the items? So, oh, in a variety of places. Hmm. But what brings you to our particular town? You're just the latest stop in our journey. Okay, do you guys remember why you're here? Going for another planar gem, right? Yes, but where? Cloudforge? Yes, okay, good, good. You remember that part. Like, you don't have to tell this, man. I'm just figuring out whether or not you guys actually remember. We're trying to stop the end of the world. This place just happens to be the next stop in our journey. Hmm. But where's the next stop after this? Perhaps we'll go for that dragon for um <laughs> heard rumors of a dragon in the area. Oh. There. Well, perhaps there's a dragon in the area, but let's see now. You guys mentioned having an earth mover among you. And then there's also a human, a drow, and a warforged. But what, so what I wonder would specifically bring you to the center of a highly isolated country? Look, man, if you don't want... If you want the world to just implode on itself and everybody you know and love dies, that's fine. We'll just go on our very way. But we are doing our very best to go anywhere we need to to get the job done. Can I make a check? Um, I think that was pretty good. Oh. Wait, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, well, what, what are you trying to make a check for? Um, to try and convince him to just be like to like believe me and like bypass all the BS. Well, mostly at this point, this guy just seems genuinely interested in your story and like what brings oh, you to his particular um surgery practice. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he was like testing us. Like, what be ye soul if not worthy? Okay. Um. So basically, here's the gist. There's a demon who's about to be spawned into the world, and we are doing our best to gain these magical items to try and combat it and to make sure that the world doesn't die. And how do we factor into that? That would be the tall man with the antlers on his head kind of question. And then he turns to um, Rayford... I, I'm guessing he's referring to the demon horns you wanted me to surgically implant into you as antlers, so... I I don't know what he's talking about. Me neither. Anyway. Yes, we are trying to prevent this demon from coming into the world. Hmm. But... What does this town have to do with that, then? There is, don't remember. there is a magical artifact that we need to get to. And this town just happens to be where we can get an object to get there. To get the magical object. The... And is it just a coincidence that this town is one of the few towns by which you can make it to Cloud Forge? Just a happy coincidence. Hmm. So hey, we're mean, trying to get the cloud forge, right? Because if I were you looking for very powerful magical artifacts, I would be looking for the flying city. Hmm. 
because pretty much the only reason why people come to this town if they're from very far away is either to see me or it's to see about the floor machines. But you clearly didn't come to visit me originally since you didn't know who I was before I introduced myself. Which leaves only one other main option, unless you really are just very, very lost. Side note, really quick, uh, DM question. We are trying to go to Cloud Forge, right? Yes. Yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, boy. This, this is fun. Okay. Yeah. I cast <laughs> Guiding Bolt. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Leave what you will. But that makes me wonder, you must be in a bit of a predicament if you came all this way to town and then found out that the flying machines are currently out of order. That would be a problem, yes. But yes. you seem like your, your mission is still ongoing, so you must know something. There are many things that we know. It's Perhaps. just many ones are we referring to. Perhaps you are the only people willing to take Dr. Key up on her little story that there's someone by the name of Martin who can clear her husband's name. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Am I ringing the right bell? Um, you're ringing something. Because I remember something about a some or somebody who wanted somebody to do somebody. Very good. Huh. And she did mention, and, and you seem to know that you should be looking for me, but you didn't know who I was. Does that mean that someone sent you to find me? Uh, I can't. Uh, if, excuse me, sir. Um, yep. and I like pull um, Ash. What's your character's name again? I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Not Easy Oho. Yeah, I almost Rayford. said Easy Oho. That's fine. It's Rayford. Okay. Rayford. Excuse me one second. Rayford, come over here. We're gonna okay. need a game plan. We're gonna need a game plan, dude. Do we want? Do, you, do we want to kind of continue to back like go wrong with this guy, or do we want to tell him the truth straight up, or do we want to just fight him? If if we fight him, then he we might kill him and lose out on his services. I would rather not do that. All right. Well, but I'd rather okay, not fine. tell him the truth. You'd rather not tell him the truth. I'd rather not. So how far do we want to lie? Do we just want to tell them? Just, do we just want to hide the whole truth or just straight up lie, lie? Because uh, if we were to, you know, put deception, like, you know, maybe, I don't know, deception or, you know, you know, um, performance into, like, uh, I don't know, a 20-point based system, then um, I think I would do, a, like, two better than everything else. If that makes sense. If, if we were trying to perform, I would be better. Me too. Me as well. <laughs> but let's see. What, what, do we want to try and change this guy's mind? Or do we want to try and... Uh, what, what's the game plan here? Also, you guys don't even know what this guy wants from you yet, so... Yeah. Maybe we should just start with that. Let's ask him what he wants from us. Let, let me do right. the You'll let me do the talking? No, I, I I would like to do the talking for this one. All right. Do you just say the word and let me know, and I'll pipe in and I'll beat him up. Good cop, bad cop. I hope it doesn't come to that. Okay. Neither do I. And I, I, I turn back to, um, what what's his name? Uh, this is Dr. Barbara. Dr. Barbara? Barbara. Oh, Dr. Barbara. Barbara. Now, Doctor, what what do you want? 
Hmm. Well, I want to be able to continue my research, and I also want to know where you stand with Dr. Adrian Key. Adrian Key, that is it's not a name I recognize. Do you recognize? Ash, make me a deception check. I, I, I'm, I'm saying that because I legitimately do not know. Oh, no, no, this is the, this is the engineer woman that has the flying machine that you spoke to, like, an oh, hour ago. okay, well, I, okay, I, I, I didn't know that, so. Okay. That's what I'm saying, I don't know who that is. Thanos, when he's talking to Scarlet Witch in the Endgame. Yep. How does this 21 sound? Well, so, wait, you're actually lying to this man? I mean, if yeah, I could make him think that we we just happened to come through here, like, and he doesn't know a thing about us, that's gonna be even better. So, yeah. How I'm does that gonna... benefit you, though? Huh? How does that benefit you, though? I mean, if okay, if he doesn't know, he can't then tell demons potentially, either accidentally or on purpose, which then means that they won't know where we are. Demons, that's that's where he's going with this. Hey, I'm not saying he's going to talk to demons. I'm saying that I, I'm also not like he's willing to do this pretty much for any price, it sounds like. Like as long as you're willing to do it, he's willing to attach whatever you want. Yeah, but don't you think that like if you know the other professional that he seems to know, then maybe he might be on better terms with you? Yeah, probably. Damn, but, okay, really he just sort of, and like he does a double take because, like, so you guys aren't going to Cloud Forge then? Cloud Forge is one destination we had in mind. Uh, so you don't know that the main way to get there is through Dr. Adrian Key? I, I forgot momentarily. My mistake. And did Doctor I, 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 that's where I just I, I just forget things and I just I just enter a trance at times, you know? Because Dr. Key has been on what we call a bender for the past few days. So if you mm -hmm. saw her, you know that she's in no condition to fly a flying machine. Perhaps if we were to get her to sober up. So has she told you what would make her sober up then? Has she told us that? I don't know. Yes, she told you exactly what she wants. Which is? For you guys to descend into a um, a section of the soul mine that's much closer to this town, go into it and uh, take out the guy and br to bring forth the guy that can clear her husband's name who's hiding out there. She told us what it would take. Which means, are you willing to take her up on this? I happen to, I have a suspicion that there might be a dragon in the area as well. Hmm. Perhaps. Miles. So you are heading to the soul mine then to find Martin. I've only heard rumors about this dragon near a soul mine. Yes. Nothing concrete. But if you're heading, but if you're seeking to clear her name and to clear her husband's name and you're heading for the soul mine, then you must be looking for Martin, right? Yes. Yes, we are. So that means that you're going to be descending into that part of the caves anyway, right? Somewhat, yes. And something tells me, and forgive me for uh, ju judging based on appearances, but you're not much a fan of High Elves, are you? Unless things have changed in the past 200 years, and no. Okay. So what if I were to tell you that there's a High Elf living in those mines, completely disconnected from the Rudra Kingdom, no one keeping tabs on him, 
and no one who would notice if he were to happen to disappear. What 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 would what would you say if I were to tell you that? What can his body get you? <laughs> now you're asking the right questions. And he uh, um, and he uh, steps a little closer, holding out the bottle. Now, what if I were to tell you that were you to bring him alive to me, anesthetized, of course, I can make him disappear, and there'd be five hundred gold pieces that'd be going your way. Hmm. Oh, by the way, Riley, you're absolutely hearing all of this. That is tempting, but 500 gold pieces for one of us, or for everyone involved? For the whole party, it's a very good deal, in my opinion. Um, Gordon, Tugs, and Rayford? I spent right. all of my money. I have zero gold. Oh, no. I bought them... I bought the mana potion and then the ring that makes me be able to jump really far. Very well. We, if we happen to come across this high elf, your only requirement is that he returns to you alive, correct? And in relatively good health. I mean, if his bones are broken and he's missing an eye, then he's not worth as much. I think I can do something about that. But remember, he must be brought back alive. If you bring him back dead, then he's only worth one-fifth to me. Yes, but if you do this, then you can also know that you'll be part of something very important. Think about all the research opportunities that you bringing me this elf will come to. And don't worry, he will not be harmed at all. Well, at least he won't feel any pain. That's a shame. Hmm. I have standards. I'm a villain, not a monster. Plus, if they're writhing in pain, then, well, they're harder to harvest. Oh, harvest! That's such a that's such a strong word. Yes. Gordon, has, Gordon, Gordon is taken back by this whole conversation. Yes. He's kind of like contemplating some stuff in his head right now. Mm. And he kind of like backs this, up. He's going to take a few steps I back. I am suffering under your like, care. Some, presumably. Hmm. After all, constantly being harvested couldn't, couldn't be great for the psyche. I mean... Well, suffice it to say, he won't be worrying about anything when I'm done with him. He will have nothing to worry about. That's a shame. That is a shame. But he will still technically be very much alive. In a manner of speaking. Well, I'll bring you. Well, We'll see what we can do about bringing him to you. Excellent, A says as he's handing you the potion. And remember, if you try to go to the military about this, well then, it'll be the word of two outsiders against the word of a respected surgeon, and I'll just say that you robbed me and took my potion. That would be a rather hefty fine. Oh, <laughs> so much more than that. But you also always have the option to skip town, and you'll have that sleeping potion on you, and I'll have no way of tra tracking you down. It wouldn't be worth my while to do that, so you certainly have at least two main choices. Bring back the elf and become very rich, or keep the potion to yourself. We shall see what happens. Some of my competitors are slightly more Abide the law. Very good, then. Is he talking about me? You're not in here, so yes, I am. You are all for the law. Tell me you're not. Okay. Well, all right, then. 
let's go meet back up with your Warforged friend. He's probably beginning to get worried. And remember, you probably shouldn't tell him about this part. And he leads the two of you back outside if you don't have any more questions for him. Gordon's still kind of like, like struck in and like, kind of like, oh wow, this is real. You know, like they're gonna do some things that Gordon doesn't really kind of agree with here, but. We're, we're about to go kidnap a high elf to be used for, basically to be used for parts. Yeah. Yeah. Gordon's kind of like contemplating his morality right now. He's going to be really quiet for the rest of the episode. He's questioning his morality. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm Riley, I'm totally on board with this because, like, high elves killing high elves, and this could give me some good knowledge. Yeah. What did you say, Drew? Uh, make, make me a history check, please. Me? Yeah, uh, no, Riley. Uh, okay. <laughs> history check. Yep. Uh, eighteen. So seventeen total. Yeah, with the seventeen total, you know that um, high elves—they're kind of an endangered species at this point. There's very few, there's only a few hundred of them left alive. A few hundred? A few okay. hundred. Oh god damn. Oh, this is gonna be such a this is gonna be a defining moment for for um for uh Gordon. Oh my god. Okay. Gordon is uh Gordon kinda just so he follows but like slow and behind everybody else. Wait, okay. Uh, so uh, kind of of like, how many things. now are left then? If if all the high elves if high elves are an endangered species, what about the drow? Oh uh, yeah, there's plenty of drow left and um what elves and everything like that. It's mostly just the high elves that are on the decline. Okay, cool. Okay. Screw them high elves. Yeah. I c- I could become a sorcerer as well. Multiclass and just sorcerer. All right. So, uh, Chris, uh, the group regroups with you back outside. How long did it take? For them they to were talk? probably only in there for like 10 minutes or less. Oh, okay. Then I, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. I'm li- just looking around. Yeah. All right. Hello. Gordon continues to walk past him. Uh, c- continues to walk past West Westman and like not even acknowledge him. Blank face, pale face, a thousand yards there. Do I recognize he's look- it? He's looking for a tree. Do I recognize? Uh... Um, no, you don't recognize this. Uh, this man. Okay. Hello. Ah, uh, hello there, soldier. I turned to Rayford. Are we ready to go? Yes, we're. We should, we should probably take some time to rest, though. Okay. Have you secured a place for us? Yes. I point in the direction that let's, uh let's let's go rest for the night and tomorrow fresh start. Mhm. Gordon follows, but very far behind. Gordon's just not okay with this at all. Gordon, Gordon you may... seem encumbered. <laughs> I'm thinking about the morality of life. What is existence? <laughs> what is? The decisions that I will make change the fate of my life tenfold. <laughs> if you, or hypothetically, if you will, change my alignment. Yeah. My, Gordon, every decision you make changes your life. Just some decisions are Bigger changes than others. If only Thitch was here. <laughs> mm. 
I, is this a part of growing up? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> Having to kill an endangered species to put it on yourself just to stay fuck up. Exactly. Gordon. Tough Gordon tough. lays down on the ground, like spread eagle. And like looks is it is it it's like dusk, right? It, uh, it, yeah, it, it's it's getting on in the day. It's what? It's it's getting pretty far on in the day. All right, he's the like just looking up at like the, the yellow orange sky, and he's just like, yeah. "Oh, what do I do?" You know that that actually sounds like a really good place to stop for the for this session. All so right, up with what do I do? Like, give the orange guy, what do I do? Nice. All right then. Well, I guess this is a way to stop the session. Hopefully, our next session will not be in two months. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. But, in t yeah, hopefully we can move forward next session. And I actually texted Andreas, and his main question was whether or not the elf was, like, an evil guy or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> if he's, like, a really bad elf, then I'm more okay with this, I guess. Yes, that's exactly what we're Anyway, about. until um, next time, I've been your dungeon master and host, Drew, being joined by... Gordon Go. Play. And... West Come on. No, no, no. We go with the next uh, oldest. Yes. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's you. That's you. No, fault. that's you. That is you. Are that's you, you five? No. No. I have How long have you been with the party? Oldest. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Chris, if West we're doing Mod. it that way, then you would go first. No. No. Oh, Bitch oh, is oh. the oldest. You're thinking I'm doing it by our oh. character's... Never mind. Wait, 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 but Westman's the oldest character. Okay. Oldest in the party. How long you've been in the party for? Yeah, you've been in the party the shortest time. Yes, okay. I uh, have. Uh, by the way, guys, Earthmover's giving this one thumbs down, but not two thumbs. To clarify, wow. that's not at all the way he phrased it. I'll, I'll say, yes. Bye. Yes, then Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.